we, we took the approach that babies who are um, developing a bit differently aren't getting the social um, enrichment around them that they require because they process the world in a different way. So what we sought to do was to help parents understand the differences, the, the sort of differences in their babies um, and how they can best respond in a way that provides um, that baby the social enrichment they need for their brain to continue developing. Uh, I mean, ultimately, we're helping babies become uh, develop a feeling of being more perceived and understood um, so that they can, um, um, uh, they, they have a greater feeling of getting that back and forth interaction, back and forth, back and forth, um, so, which are really the foundational building blocks of, of brain development. Therapy uses what we call video feedback, which is where we use the power of video technology to help provide families insights into the unique abilities of their babies. We then provide families with strategies with how to communicate with their babies to use those unique abilities as strengths and the foundation for future brain development. We are helping um, parents um, fine tune their parenting to the unique abilities of their baby. One of the thing about preemptive intervention is that of course, many of the babies that we're providing support to are just late bloomers. They were always going to be on a typical path. They just haven't, um, uh, they're, they're just a little bit delayed at the moment. And so we have to have an intervention that is ethical to deliver to people who may not even need it. There's no doubt that we are raising kids differently to, to we did previously. We've got a whole lot of whopping distractions um, that constantly compete for our attention. And one of the great things of this intervention is, is that it helps parents to slow down and to understand the wonder that they can experience when they see children through their own eyes. Human babies are born um, very underdeveloped. Um, we know that there are very few animals in the animal kingdom that are born as underdeveloped as us. And it's not just important that our brains um, receive social enrichment, they require it to develop. Um, and that's one of the things that we've got through developmental science over the last 20 years is that that social enrichment is not just good to have, it's a must have.